Welcome back uh, to Maths with Amin. Uh, in this uh, short video, I have the solutions to the uh, video on ogives, histograms, and frequency polygons. Right? There were three questions. Let's look at the free first question briefly. <clears throat> this is adapted from November 2014 paper, and there were four questions there. Okay. So let's just look at the let's look at the first question. Uh, here we have to identify the modal class. And if you look at the modal class, we see the highest frequency there is at 17. So the corresponding modal class is between 50 and 60. As you can see there, there is at 17 between 15 and 50 and 60. Complete the cumulative frequency table. So in other words, we have to say, you can see, 1 plus 7 is 8, 8 plus 7 is 13, 8 plus 13 is 21, etc. And 54 plus 1 is 55. And there are 55 uh, uh, data points, so that 55 is correct. To draw the OGIF, we need to plot the upper limits with the cumulative frequency, you can see 30 with 1, so there's 30 with 1 and 40 with 8, etc. And there's a very nice frequency curve. Next one here, you want to estimate the number of speeding fines issued when they exceed 66 kilometers per hour. And from 66, we draw the dotted line, go across there, and then we take the reading. The reading is 44. So there were 55 there, so it's 55 minus 44, so that gives us approximately 11 fines. Let's look at the second question. This is from February 2016, and there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 questions here. Okay. Now let's look at the solution. The first one, you want to estimate the mean. So for the mean there, we need to calculate the midpoints and then find the product of the midpoints with the frequency there's the products and then we have to find the sum and then we take the sum and you divide it by the total number of days so it's 3080 divided by 60 which is 51,33 approximately next we need to get the ogive and for the ogive we need the cumulative frequencies there's our cumulative frequencies and then we can plot the points and then join the line now we want to estimate the number of days of which 65 or more, there's 65, and we take the reading there, which is about, let's say it's 48, so the number there would be 60 minus 48, so there's 12. The median, median is 50% of the 60, which is 30, so from 30 I take a reading, and I can estimate that, let's say it is 55. Let's look at the last question. We are given a ogive and a frequency table, and then there are the questions that need to be answered, and there are five of them. And we look at that. Now let's look at the solutions to question three. The first one there, how many learners visited the duck shop? And you see the total there is 65. So there are 65 learners there. Then determine the number numerical values of the A and the B, and you see the A goes with the interval 20, 10 to 20, there's 10 to 20, so I take the reading there, 20, 20 goes with 12, therefore A must be 12, the frequency is 12. Then I want B, that is from 40 to 50, so I need to take that reading, so I take that reading as 61, and I, because it's a cumulative, I need to subtract. So that's going to be 61 minus 45, and that gives you 16. The number of learners who spend at least 45 rand, so there's 45. I take the reading, and I get the reading there in the 50s, and I, they have to subtract it from 65. So it's 54 subtracted from 65, that gives you 11. 75th percentile is 75 percent of the 60, which is 48,75. I take the reading. And the reading at 75% there would be 42. Then interquartile range, that is the third quartile minus the first quartile. Third quartile we just worked out as 42. First quartile we have to calculate that. You can take the reading for the first quartile. 
let's say it's round about 24 so 42 minus 24 gives us interquartile range is 18. I trust you and you benefit from the solutions and also from the uh, the video uh, please there are other videos on grade 12 caps mathematics and solutions are available on all the exercise worksheets in a separate video please subscribe to my channel and if you like and comment it will greatly be appreciated thanks maths with army